In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to the Eucharist once again uh, for another week of praying and journeying with the Lord on the way to sanctity, preparing ourselves for Monday, Thursday, Good Friday and Easter Sunday. The themes are all the same. Try to help us to come closer to the Lord and that we do by strengthening our relationship with the Lord, strengthening our relationship with one another. Let's once again begin this Eucharist asking God's forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please sit for the reading. A reading from the prophet Daniel. O Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments, we have sinned and done wrong and acted wickedly and rebelled, turning aside from our commandments and rules. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. To you, O Lord, belongs righteousness, but to us open shame, as at this day to the men of Judah, to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and to all Israel, those who are near and those who are far away, in all the lands to which you have driven them, because of the treachery that they have committed against you. To us, O Lord, belongs open shame, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against you. To the Lord our God belongs mercy and forgiveness, for we have rebelled against you, against him, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God, 
by walking in his laws which he set before us by his servants the prophets the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god the words of our response o lord do not treat us according to our sins together o lord do not treat us according to our sins do not remember against us the guilt of former times let your compassion hasten to meet us for we have brought very low response o lord do not treat us according to our sins help us o god our savior for the sake of the glory of your name free us and forgive us our sins because of your name response o lord do not treat us according to our sins let the groans of the prisoners come before you your strong arm reprieve those condemned to die response o lord do not treat us according to our sins then we your people the flock of your pasture will give you thanks forever and ever from age to age we will recount your praise response o lord do not treat us according to our sins please stand to prepare to receive jesus in the gospel glory and praise to you O Lord Jesus Christ Your words Lord are spirit and life and you have the words of eternal life together glory and praise to you O Lord Jesus Christ The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to Luke Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, "Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you." good measure pressed down shaken together running over will be put into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured back to you the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear sisters and brothers today as we begin the second week of lent continuing our journey we have the message from jesus once again about our relationship to others it's a continuation of what we heard on saturday saturday the readings were from deuteronomy the old testament and matthew in the new testament today we have from daniel and from luke in the new testament Daniel the prophet one of the prophets of the old testament one of the minor prophets because written little but here it's a whole uh, written about the year 150 or so 145 uh, uh, the it's a his writings are uh, little of lamentations and asking for forgiveness from god it was at the time of the babylonian empire the babylonian conquest of the holy land of israel was was ending and the persians and medes were coming to take control and now uh, they were really pressed the being forced really uh, not to follow uh, the jewish cult to pray in the temple and so here we have daniel continuously saying we have sinned acknowledging that what has happened to us the repression of the jewish religion is because of our sins our leaders our people our families all of us have followed the wrong path followed the wrong adored the wrong god and we beg your pardon we ask your pardon as a, a sense uh, an expression to us of what we should do in lent think of our faults our sins and ask god's pardon and in the gospel passage once again the challenge from jesus really to be like your heavenly father we heard on saturday be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect 
perfection we are children of God and therefore be like your father he with sunshine on the good and the evil rains on the good and and the evil you too learn to do the same to do good to everybody and here specifically Jesus speaks to us of two things not to do not to condemn not to judge give to be merciful and to give who wants to give, asks of you and so really it's once again establishing relationship perhaps today as we attend this mass as we pray during the day pray during the week I mentioned that already on Saturday think of somebody you must really make up with improve the relationship somebody you think or imagine or feel is not your friend so Jesus said love your enemies we hope we have no enemies but people whom, people whom we think are not with us try specifically decidedly to be kind to them be merciful condemn not and you will not be condemned be judge not and you will not be judged but we make up our relationships let's pray to Jesus who gives us a total example by his life of the mercy of the Father to help us to also have the same love which the Father gives us may we also learn to give this love and forgiveness to others God bless you Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. divinity who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased receive the sacrifice which we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord. Set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults you raise up our minds you bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim
Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cursed to our life, praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles. I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your soft spirit. the sign of peace. Christ's peace be with you. Christ's peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. The only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, Cleanse us of wrongdoing, make us heirs to the joy of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, stay well, and remember the message of today's gospel. Always be merciful, and don't keep in your heart any anger against anybody. That's not the way of coming closer to the Lord. Let's now final blessing. Let us pray. Confirm the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, we pray. Strengthen them by the power of your grace, that they may be constant in making supplication to you and sincere in love for one another. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God bless you, and we'll see each other the after tomorrow. Prayer for Relief from the Coronavirus Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thy loving kindness is better than life. Thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Thou art forgiving, thy mercy is sure. Thou art forgiving, thy mercy is sure. My lips shall praise Thee, thus will I bless Thee. I will lift up my hands unto Thy name. 
My lips shall praise Thee, thus will I bless Thee. I will lift up my hands unto Thy name.